Thanks for this uh, video response, Barbarossa. I think it's, well, as usual, uh, very, very, very excellent video. Uh, this morning here, and uh, I've had some time to think about and digest various things I read, mostly in the comments section. I, I think it dovetails well with what uh, you've just presented in your video. A couple of things I'd like to go through, and most of this actually isn't addressed to Rocky Mystery, but rather uh, his supporters or the people making comments in his threads. Um, first thing I'd like to address is this notion of the gaping wound, of, that, of this idea that I'm currently in a great state of pain. I'm actually not, although I do have flat feet and staying, standing too long does cause pain, but that's a separate issue, isn't it? No, uh, the the notion of the gaping wound uh, as a as a concept and as something that leads to sort of a disclarity, uh, I would quite argue the opposite. That yes, in my life I've experienced emotional, uh, spiritual pain at the hands of women um, that I've essentially uh, moved on from quite some time ago. But uh, that, in fact, leads to a much, much more intense ex examination of the issues. And I should also add a uh, much more objective examination uh, of the issues. It's not necessarily in the pain phase, but in the post-pain uh, phase, where you actually sit down and you read some things, and you look, and you observe, and you come to certain conclusions about things. Um, that is not possible whilst in the midst of the throes of romantic love or in a relationship. Um, and ultimately, ultimately, the accusation leveraged, uh, leveled at me that, uh, that I, I suffer from a gaping wound, and this, this, this clouds my judgment, is essentially, at the end of the day, just a form of shaming language. It's uh, the sort of shaming language we hear from feminists and from women, although, albeit in this case, it was uh, several commentators made uh, comments along these lines. But it is similar to things like, oh, you just can't get laid, and it really, it, 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 it's devoid of explicative power, and uh, it, it is a, a, a shaming tactic at the end of the day. Um, and as Barbaros has said, of course, uh, you know, he's in a very different situation, and he's reached exactly the same conclusion, so it kind of uh, makes you wonder. I'd also like to talk about this notion that I've, I've advocated uh, chastity. Uh, now, I'm a bit of a semanticist, and I will distinguish between celibacy, which I do advocate, which is not getting married, and chastity. They tend to be uh, interchangeable these days. No, I've never advocated chastity on the part of men. I think men uh, should do whatever they want. I do myself uh, live a rather chaste life, but only for the reason that I find my, my, my thought processes and um, uh, just about everything else to be much clearer and, uh, and, and much freer when I, when I don't actively uh, make an, even the slightest effort in pursuing pussy. And to be quite honest, uh, I'd rather just have the quick wink in the morning and get on with my day. It's, it's just, just not really worth it to me. That doesn't mean that I'm gay, far from it. <laughs> Uh, or, that's another uh, accusation, the, the gay one you hear quite often. Uh, it, and, and to be perfectly honest, it, it, it would be odd that I would um, make these videos uh, addressing men's issues in relation to women if I were gay, because if I were gay, uh, none of these things would affect me uh, quite as directly. I much would be much more likely to side with women on most of these issues. But no. For the record, no, I prefer the quick wank and getting on with my day. I, I don't, um, I just, uh, I just think more clearly. I'm able to function better when I, when I just don't bother with the punte. Uh, that doesn't make me gay, and it's really irrelevant, because the main point is that I've never advocated chastity. Uh, I think fuck and duck was the term I used, uh, simply because it rhymes, but yeah, Non, non-committal, uh, brief sexual relations are probably the optimal and only form of quote-unquote relationship that men should engage in. And I have no doubt that at some point in time I will return to, to that pattern, but at the time, for, for the time being, like I said, I just prefer to um, get over with quickly and just get on with my day and, and be productive uh, in other ways. 
So getting that out of the way, uh, many, 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 many commentators in these threads used different kinds of shaming tactics. One thing that you've addressed very well in your video, Barbara, so I want to address it as well, this notion that, <laughs> that, that anything I've been advocating or you've been advocating or people in our camp have advocated even resembles uh, radical feminism. For one thing, I w I've been called, uh, obviously it's, it's, a, it's a, uh, an insult, uh, the Andrea Dworkin <laughs> uh, of, uh, of men going their own way. I mean, it doesn't really map onto reality. I want to just cite some points that would that greatly differentiate me from any feminist. Now, I'm well aware of, as I actually wrote a, a master's dissertation on this, that evolutionary psychology is uh, shaky at best. But the for the time being, it is the best framework we have for uh, at least postulating um, or creating a framework which we can understand the past. And, past behavioral patterns and societal structures. But we do have biology, and biology has persisted into the present day. Having said that, um, we can create a link between the two. I am constantly making reference to uh, biology, to, to the science of biology, as well as uh, sociology and, uh, and other social scientists, uh, if only for um, supporting biological arguments. Uh, name me one feminist one feminist, radical or otherwise, who likes to make use of scientific material, who is willing to uh, talk about biological facts and uh, biological inclinations. Uh, they don't. So that's one very, very uh, noticeable area where I, 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 I just don't see the, 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 the accusa accusation level of me that I'm anything, uh, that I'm a, a, rad a radical, akin to a radical feminist or and, and Andrea Dworkin, for that matter. But it's just not there. Because they never talk about science. Um, let me bring up another point, and this is a very, uh, very, very relevant point. Very, very germane to the topic. The other accusation leveled uh, at me and by many of the commentators, and I assume then level that many people in my camp of thought was, uh, you know, that we're, we're, we're pussies. Not in the sense that we're gay, at least in this case, but that we're just, um, we don't want to put in the hard work to change things. It's a bit ironic, but Satir, I believe 1966, a rather verbose and irritating troll uh, who I blocked uh, started doing his thing, and uh, started communicating with one of the commentators who, uh, who, who was using shaming tactics against me. And I have to say, I actually agreed with Sage Early some of his comments. You see, there are really two options with regard to reforming things, as it were. And the option I'm offering and I'm talking about is actually the much more benign, kind, uh, libertarian-esque, and ethical one. You see, all I'm saying is boycott that men do not engage in real romantic relations with females um, and let the chips uh, fall where they may as a consequence and hopefully what will might what might possibly come about from that is a uh, recognition or a resolution on the part of women and which might possibly lead to changes in their behavior remember what girl writes what said in her video on uh, follow-up video on my video on hypoagency she said women will need to be forced to uh, fend for themselves, ultimately. And what I'm offering is a nonviolent, um, civil libertarian, essentially, uh, means of doing so. I'm simply saying boycott relationships, boycott marriage. Do not enable women with their vaginal power. Um, and let's see what happens as a result of that. In the meantime, men should and take care of themselves, but also their fellow men. And remember, that, at the end of the day, is the main point of my channel. It's my sense of concern, caring, and compassion towards my fellow men that is just not present in society and never has been. And uh, I think it's, it's really essential because we just don't have those resources. Um, we, I recognize my own humanity and, and my fellow men's humanity, and that's why I do these things, make these videos. Now, so 
that's my my very peaceful civil civil libertarian uh, approach to uh, dealing with women. Uh, the other option is is really at the end of the day uh, turns everything on its head, and this is something that Satir himself suggested. And one of the commentators, I'm not sure if he completely agreed, but the very fact is, I'll spell it out. If you really want to push back the tide of feminism as it's infiltrated uh, or insinuated itself in modern Western society for the past five or six decades, um, the only way you could do that, barring my method, uh, in a in a in a political fashion, and since many of the adherents and the other camp believe that feminism is purely purely a manifestation of politics and has nothing to do with female nature, which I'll get to in a bit. Um, you would need to institute draconian laws, li li take away women's rights, not necessarily just their privileges, but their rights, their, their right to vote, um, their right to choose relationships, all of these things. I don't want to take away any of that from women. I want women to be left to their own devices, and I want them to do what they want to do. Um, but I don't want them to have the influence they have over men. Um, and I want men to realize the truth about these things. The other, the other way, the only way you could achieve the, on the opposite end these goals is to use essentially state power and state force. And as Barbara Ross has correctly stated, uh, neither of us advocate that. What we are advocating at the end of the day is a civil libertarian uh, approach to things. Uh, the other, op the opposite end, the only option you have is to use uh, the for force of the state to bring about these changes. It would literally just mean uh, pushing back the tide of time several centuries in the, in the, and, 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 and essentially going back to some sort of traditionalist society. As, as Barbara Ross has said in his predictions, I agree with him. This, this, is, this is where a, a lot of these people want to go back to. They want to go back to a traditionalist form of marriage, of society, of all of these things. I can't advocate that in good conscience, but rest assured that the only way to achieve these things is to use draconian government uh, state force to, to do so. Um, rather than turning your back on it, living your own life, showing support and, and, and compassion for your fellow men, and uh, and seeing where the chips may uh, the chips may fall, that is a much more benign uh, solution. And they call me a misogynist. Well, at the end of the day, I, I don't want to put women in shackles and chains. Um, I think there's some idealism left in me, and from a, a libertarian, some as a, a lowercase l. And I want each person to, male or female, to be free to make his or her own decisions. And that is why I advocate what I advocate for men. The other side, it's just not possible. You, you, need, you, you need to use government force. There also, there also seem to be some issues that have not been adequately, adequately addressed from the other camp, either by commentators or Rocky Mystery. Um, Barbarossa has made a very profound and very important video on suicide and the statistics. I made a video response to that, um, where I where I talk about uh, men's weakness to women in the sense of kryptonite, just a superman is, is uh, weak to, weak to towards kryptonite. The simple fact is, when when we look at these statistics, as Barbarossa said, each of those dots represents thousands of of men who who took their own lives. Um, and when we see that, when we have that reality in front of us, it, it just seems, at the very least, and I'm being euphemistic here, a damn bloody shame that people in the other camp would, would completely ignore that and not, not even address that and simply go on at the end of the day with Nawalt uh, saying, you know, there are, there are a few good eggs, eggs out there and da 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 um, that, that, that I just uh, I can't ignore either. That's that's more than 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 a gaping the gaping wound theory that's been leveled at I me. Mean, those those guys would just kill themselves, and I'm quite certain actually that a lot of these guys were making comments in these threads about the need that we all need to man up, and that one of them called me a pussy bitch. Those are exactly the kinds of men who would call the men who kill themselves due to despair and pain and lack of coping resources pussy bitches as well. So we all know how much compassion they have. We also know which camp, which camp they find themselves. There's that. The idea that, uh, and I want to, I can't stress this enough that uh, 
that feminism is just a political manifestation that just sort of came out of the, the ether. It, 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 everything needs a source. Um, is, is the question, once again, is there an inherent female nature, is there not? Are there behavioral patterns based on biology, society, sociology, social, otherwise, a combination of all, of all these things, regardless, that pattern, behavioral patterns that have existed and persisted for a long, long time, speaking uh, of a long time, meaning millennia, or even millions of years in the case of early hominids. It are, is there a behavioral pattern there? Um, whether it's completely natural or not, it has been naturalized because it's been present for so long. If, the, if there is something such as inherent female biology and, and, a, and a consequence of that inherent female biology is behavioral patterns, which I, I dare, dare, dare to claim that Girl Writes What would support because she talks about it very, very often. Um, the, the fact that men, women view men in an exploitative manner as, as a utility, as a tool, we, we simply cannot afford to ignore that. Um, and then to understand that politicized feminism is a reflection of lowercase uh, feminism, that is the feminism which seems to be quite inherent to most females. Uh, that has not been addressed ever, either by Rocky Mystery or his uh, his, uh, his supporters and, and pe people in that camp. I mean, most of the stuff, most of the stuff I heard, I didn't see a single refutation of that point. It's, it, I mean, the closest that came to that was something along the lines of all all human beings are corruptible and you know everyone has potential for good and evil, and that's true enough, but that still doesn't address the question of whether or not there is a female nature and a, and a behavior informed by that female nature, and whether or not uh, politicized feminism is a manifestation of what actually is. Is it the beast unleashed, or is it just something totally, uh, totally detached from that? No, instead we heard, you know, men need to man, from men, men need to man up, they need to take hold, they have more power, da 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 da. Um, well, as is evidenced by the uh, Many stories we hear. I wonder if that guy in Denver who uh, lost basically everything due to his vindictive wife, did, did he need to man up too? Did, was he not manning up enough? Um, do you think he should have just, uh, you know, broken out his AK-47 uh, AK assault rifle and, and, and fought the state? Was he, was he manly enough? Hmm? Was he manly enough? The, the people who, who lost access, the fathers who, who unfortunately have bought into the trap of marriage and lost access to their children, um, and are currently finding themselves in a state of despair. And uh, are they are they not manly enough? Are they not fighting the state enough? I mean, this man up thing. This is the crap you hear from women, and yet we hear it from the other camp as well. And so, at the end of the day, it leads me to the conclusion that the other camp really just wants to make nice. Um, I, there was there's a distinct lack of um, genuineness uh, coming from a lot of the commentators. And the fact that I w I've been likened to a an Andrea Dworkin, and that we are, we're just like radical feminists, where we're, we actually cite statistics, facts, we talk about biology and all these things, none of which are, is done on the part of radical feminists, who just kind of throw things out into the air and expect it to be taken on fact. Uh, I just don't see it. But it is important uh, to also say that I did not start this um, division, if you want to call it, um, and I'm not doing it to in intentionally to be divisive. But if there is a serious rift, it needs to be addressed one way or another. Uh, it's simply not possible. This, to me, truth content, uh, the validity of, of something, is rather important. If I see something that stands in opposite, if you see something that that's supposed to be belong to my world perspective and yet it stands in, in stark opposition, that needs to be addressed. And quite frankly, quite frankly, the division we see, uh, the really the, the separation of, of perspectives and interests, um, that's, that apparently has always been there. So what I've done, if anything, is simply, simply brought it all to the fore. There's nothing that's, it, it has been there, and I think it's been festering for quite some time. Um, and uh, there probably will be not, not any sort of formal peace 
between the two calves because we, we, we are representing very different things. Um, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm not for politicizing everything, um, and that's another aspect of it. A lot of these people in the other camp believe you can you know, make legislation and, and push back these the, the tide of feminist, uh, feminist uh, legal action. That's also based on the notion that feminism is just a political manifestation There's, and, and, and ignores, ignores the very potent and obvious fact that women have embraced the benefits of feminism and f freely, have freely done so. They've freely done so, and uh, what's the best explanation that can be come up with, uh, that they come up with for that? It's that women have been conned, they've been tricked. That's, that sounds, it's a bit weak to me. Um, I think women know exactly what's going on, and at least many women, and uh, they know what, what has happened, and they're enjoying uh, the benefits that <clears throat> men who have enabled them have given them. So, to recap, <clears throat> the gaping wound theory, well, as, as Barbara has pointed out, uh, you know, even if it were true, which it's not, I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm rather benumbed, in a benumbed state of mind uh, these days. Uh, we've, we've, we've all reached rather starkly similar conclusions, and so that, that makes you wonder. And once again, um, having processed a great deal of pain can help you lead to a greater sense of clarity as you detach yourself from the pain, the pain and you take a look back at things. If you're constantly in a state of marital or relationship bliss, it's very difficult to take off the rose, uh, the pink, uh, the rose tinted glasses, and uh, and look at, look at things in an objective manner. Uh, as I said, Andrea Dworkin, uh, it just doesn't follow. Uh, I talk about biology, we talk about uh, Barbarossa has many statist statistical uh, bits of information. Uh, no feminist ever produces that. What they do, with its a occasion, they'll produce uh, false information. Um, yeah, and all the, you know, all the shaming language, bitch ass, whiny, da da da, and so on and so forth. Uh, I mean, Quite frankly, it doesn't surprise me because uh, what I see in the in the very many comments in the other uh, in the other camp is that there are men who are simply not concerned with uh, for the well-being of other men. They show no compassion, um, and they don't even address these very important issues, say of su male suicide in relation to uh, to marriage and relationships, male mental health, all of these things. They're just not relevant. No, instead, what we hear is men have just got to man up. And finally, um, the fact is that, as I said, <clears throat> the idea I'm offering is completely benign. And yet it is attacked with a doggedness, this idea of just boycotting a relationship and going your own way and doing your own thing. It, it, it really begs the question, why... Why do not just women, but men, feel the, the intense need to attack that idea? You know, well, why would they do that? Because as I said, the only other way to do it is to use state coercion and state force to re repeal all sorts of things. Um, you know, going back to chattel laws and all these things. Well, I'm not advocating any of that. I want every human being to do what he or she wants to do. But I don't want men to suffer anymore, and I think the best way of doing that is to is to for each man to live his own life and and not engage in the highly, highly, highly risk, risky proposition of uh, of, roma of romantic relationships. Not chastity, but relationships and marriage. Anyway, uh, the very final thought. As I said, this division has always been here, apparently. You could see it in the commentator, the various comments in the commentators. And it doesn't surprise me that most of the comments uh, were not well thought out uh, <clears throat> explanations and refutations, but different variations of Nawalt and shaming language, calling me a pussy bitch and uh, 
all sorts of things along these lines. It doesn't really surprise me. Um, I, I, I'd like, I want to see from the other camp someone addressing male suicide, someone addressing these really important issues that literally cost men's lives. Um, and as I said, my prediction is they will simply say that men need to, to man up. Um, they need to take charge. Uh, and that th those men who, say, killed themselves probably need to do the same thing. Um, I suppose, as of once again, I, I have to cite this example, the guy in the Denver prison needed to take charge as well, huh? I don't know. So, this division will remain, and uh, I, for one, am glad that we're not pretending anymore that we're all exactly in the same camp. Uh, what I said, I feel needed to be said, and I stand by my words, and I stand by my position. I'd also like to thank the people who, uh, who sent me private messages um, offering not just support but but um, but affirmation of the of the fact that I'm towing, that I'm sta I'm sticking by uh, standing by my position um, so anyway that's what I have to say about this